Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some things from the UK. We have the Orange Maltesers Bunny, and then we have two uh, Boland's brands. These are Jam Mallows. And I have the Coconut Creams. And these were three different prices, of course. Of course. The, um, <laughs> the Malteser Bunny was $1.29. Okay. The Jam Mallows were $3.99, and the Coconut Creams were $3.19. So if you're in the UK, uh, I'm sure you're thinking, well, they pay twice as much as oh, we yeah. do, but they're coming from across the pond. So uh, yeah, I wonder if they sell these at like Poundland or something. Oh, I'm sure they yeah. do. Uh, but we found them in Jungle Gyms International Market, and you know what? We're just they're shipped from we're over there. So. Glad to find something yeah. new. And so, they had the regular Maltesers too. So if you're interested, they do sell them at Jungle Gyms. Yes, so. uh, this is the Orange Maltesers Bunny. It says new. It's 156 calories. For the entire thing. And how much? 150? 156. Oh, okay. Um, Maltesers, I absolutely love them. I love them right now. <laughs> but the thing about me and Maltesers, so Maltesers, if you're an American, we did a review of Maltesers uh, compared to Whoppers. I like the Maltesers better. But I like the Maltesers that are shaped like this because you, I say it every time we try them, it has a, th a thicker chocolate than just the regular Maltesers balls. I can see that. Balls. Like, like the belly part, it's, yeah. it's quite thick on the top. So it's just like our daughter Ashley. She, this time of year, this Easter time of year, she buys a lot of the, uh, the um, uh, Snickers bars hmm. in the egg shape because she says, the egg shape is completely different than a regular bar because it's so much thicker. Mm -hmm. Same concept with these. It's just thicker. That's just so, like the Reese's eggs. Yes, The Reese's same eggs thing. Are, are better than the cups, I think. Yes, so if you understand that, then you understand why I like these more. So these are milk chocolate with an orange flavored malt filling. And they're so soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whoppers are kind of hard. Mm-hmm. And in that video, you chose Whoppers. I still like the flavor you of Whoppers. You chose better. wrong. I like the flavors of the chocolate better than Whoppers. I like that, though. I like the addition of the orange. I do, too. The bad thing about the orange is it gets rid of the malt completely. I don't, I don't really get that malt flavor at all. It's more of a just chocolate orange. Yes, it's chocolate orange. But I love it that it's milk chocolate and orange mm -hmm. and not dark chocolate yeah. orange. Because that's what they typically pair. And I love it that it's in that milk chocolate. Yeah. Uh, these and, are, and they kept the same texture of the, the malted center. Yes, it's yeah. it's it's delicious. Yeah, Absolutely it is very delicious. Good. It's very, very soft. Um, and I do know, I'm pretty sure if you have a Meyer grocery store down there, uh, World Food Aisle, whatever it's called, I think they sell Maltesers in that they aisle. Know. And I think Maltesers are becoming more popular yeah, I've in seen them more. the United States. I've seen yeah. them more in more stores. And they're actually made in Dublin, Ireland. The chocolate is very melty though, so which is a good, good quality chocolate. So, so uh, Bowlands, uh, these are soft crumbly biscuits topped with pink mallow and raspberry flavor jam sprinkled with coconut. And these are also made in Dublin. And two cookies are 100 calories. So it's doubling the, um, the UK's bakery, just like Canada's the United Canada, States bakery. Yeah, Canada is the United States bakery. <laughs> we found that. Oh, they're bigger than us. Oh, that one whole cookie. Oh, no, oh, no, surely two. there's two. Okay. <laughs> two. But you know what? Wow, that's really big. It is good size. I like how it's uh, stacked up like that. Okay, so these are 50 calories each. So it's a little, it's a row, it's a cookie or some kind of biscuit with jam in the middle and then, then marshmallow on each side. I love the looks of it. Mm -hmm. mm, that's very soft. The cookie on the bottom is much softer than I was expecting it to be. Mr. Kipling makes a cake that reminds me of that. Yeah, that's good. And you know what? I'm just now getting the jam flavor. After I've eaten it, I'm getting the jam. That, the, the whole thing, the raspberry and everything, it reminds me of the flavor in one of the raspberry in one of his cakes. Mr. Kipling. Mm-hmm. 
That I, I love that. I think it's delicious. It's good. It's not an overly sweet cookie like you would think it would be. No. Because uh, you would think with marshmallows so it would be really, really sweet. It's not. It's, I it's think a you good need a sweet. drink with it because it's a little dry. It is. Um, I'm glad the, the biscuit is so soft though, the cookie part. I, I it's like really those more cake -like. They're They're very, very good. The, my only thing is I would like to eat this whole thing together. <laughs> like a big sandwich cookie. Yes. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they're good. And the coconut, you can taste the coconut. So these are and the little pieces, so. coconut creams. Traditionally soft crumbly biscuits topped with pink and white coconut covered Milo. Three cookies are 120. These look like a round biscuit with a pile of marshmallows. Yeah. That's, oh, and they're uh, pink and white. Pink and white. I'm sure they taste the same. Oh yeah. They look like little Ritz crackers from the top. Yeah, see, does anyone ever take it and do like this? No. Mm -hmm. And just bite into it like that. These are a little plain. They are. I don't even really get the coconut or the marshmallow flavor, honestly. I don't I don't mind them at all. I mean no, like if somebody okay. offered them to me, I would definitely eat them. But they're they're missing like the jam mallows have that raspberry flavor mm -hmm. jam, which it gives really us flavor. yeah, it gives it a punch. This after having those, these are the ones we should have tried first. But even because the jam mallows are literally like the same thing except they've added raspberry. To yeah, it. and but I don't I don't I don't really taste coconut, and it, I really don't taste the marshmallow. You may no, you taste the cookie. Is yeah, what you taste the yeah. The, the the yeah like a baked cookie and it's not really a super it's not a sweet cookie. it's like yeah. a shortbread cookie without all the butter mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's very very a plain shortbread cookie no frills no butter so if know. i was going to the store i probably wouldn't buy either one of those uh i really do like the jam mellows i just feel there's like, so many other i feel like you're not getting a lot for for, for, what, the, the, calories. for the calories i yeah. don't feel like you're getting a lot yeah. um I, I, there's just so many other cookies i'd rather have but out of the two, I would get the jam. I would get the jam. Yeah. You have to get the jam ones because the raspberry. So it mm. really is good. Uh, but now those Maltesers are excellent. Maltesers are really good. I, I like the orange. Uh, somebody will ask me, so I'm going to answer here. Which one do you like better? I would stick with the traditional, of course. I would rather have the traditional Malteser. But for once a year or whenever these come out, when they're special, I think it's good to, to have a few because it is a nice flavor. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.